When you hear of hats produced in a factory in Ironwood, Michigan, it might not be the location that comes to mind. But in the case of one hat worn by people of all ages, a company with less than 100 employees produces a northern classic. Newswatch tells Matt Weaver joins us live in the studio with more, Matt. Well, that's right, Dan and Jessica. In 2001, when Bob Jackwart and his family bought Stormy Cromer factories, there were 16 different varieties of hats. Today, more than 1,400 different sizes and styles are produced and sold to customers across the U.S. thanks to a short list of hands. So many people think that you take a roll of fabric and throw it in some automated machine and out it pops a finished hat. And now I'm proud to show you um, all the wonderful human beings here in Ironwood that make the hats for us. Stormy Cromer Chairman Bob Jackwart shows how the famed hat from the Upper Peninsula of Michigan is put together. Right now we're cutting, actually we're cutting Insulate installation for the inside of our rancher hat. And uh, so the process is a pattern gets put into the computer and this machine is actually cutting it out um, piece by piece. So after everything's cut, it's sent into the production line. But the first thing we do, of course, is we have to put our Stormy Cromer signature. I have it on my hat and it's gonna go on these hats. It takes just a little while for you to start figuring out what it's gonna, what's happening there. You'll see it finished Stormy. And then cutting and embroidery are the two very automated processes that we have. However, you're about to see all the unautomated processes, the human beings making product by hand. So this is the process of manufacturing the crown of the hat, the most difficult part. And the process is cannot be automated. It's all done by her hands. The right side of the hat, right front to the right center, right back to the center. And then she puts them all together. After the ear flaps are attached, the hat is ready for inspection and a finishing touch. Look at all these hats here. We got just an abundance of hats and now literally it's time to tie the bow on it. So we have Becky here. Becky, you're going to show us how to do this, right? Yes. Thread the tie through the eyelets. Not too tight bow. Make sure your ear band is centered. There you have it. The final product. They're awesome. Um, they work hard every day and they, and they put their skin in the game and they make these wonderful products. In Ironwood, Matt Weaver, Newswatch 12.